considering buying an electric vehicle? While EVs offer numerous benefits, their battery packs pose some challenges that we need to address. Join us as we explore the environmental and social impact of dead EV battery packs and how we can dispose of and recycle them. Dead EV batteries are a major problem that poses a threat to the environment and human health and is a waste of valuable resources. Dead EV batteries contain toxic and hazardous materials such as lithium, cobalt, nickel, manganese, and graphite that can contaminate the soil and water and pollute the air if not handled and disposed of properly. These materials can cause serious harm to flora and fauna, as well as humans by causing diseases, cancers, and mutations. Dead EV batteries also contribute to greenhouse gas emissions and climate change by releasing carbon dioxide and methane if incinerated or landfilled. There are three main options for dealing with dead EV battery packs, landfilling, recycling, and reusing. Each option has its advantages and disadvantages, as well as its challenges and opportunities. Landfilling is the simplest and cheapest option, which involves dumping the dead EV battery packs in a designated site and covering them with soil and other materials. Landfilling is the most widespread option since it requires minimal effort and investment and is able to accommodate large volumes of waste. However, landfilling is also the most harmful and wasteful option as it causes the most toxicity and pollution and wastes the most resources and potential of the dead EV battery packs. Recycling is the most sustainable and responsible option, which involves dismantling, sorting, and processing the dead EV battery packs to recover and reuse the materials contained in them. Recycling is the most environmentally and economically beneficial option, since it reduces toxicity and pollution, and conserves the resources and potential of dead EV battery packs. However, recycling is also the most complex and expensive option, since it requires a lot of technology, infrastructure, and regulation, and faces a lot of technical, logistical, and legal challenges. Reusing is the most innovative and creative option, which involves repurposing, refurbishing, and reconfiguring the dead EV battery packs for other applications and functions. Reusing is the most opportunistic and valuable option since it exploits the remaining capacity and performance and creates new products and services from the dead EV battery packs. However, reusing is also the most uncertain and risky option since it depends on a lot of factors, such as the quality, compatibility, and safety of the dead EV battery packs and the demand, feasibility, and profitability of the new applications and functions. One of the most sustainable and responsible ways to dispose of dead EV battery packs is recycling, but it's also the most complex and expensive. The process involves several steps and processes. Firstly, dead EV battery packs are collected and transported to a recycling facility, which can be either a specialized or general waste treatment plant. The next step is dismantling and sorting, which can be done either manually or through an automated system. After that, the dead EV battery packs are processed and recovered using different methods and technologies, including pyrometallurgy, hydrometallurgy, and direct recycling. While these methods have their advantages, they also have significant drawbacks, including the production of harmful emissions or wastewater. Direct recycling is an economical and environmentally friendly method, but it faces several challenges, such as the compatibility and variability of the cells and the safety and reliability of the reused cells. Recycling of dead EV battery packs can have far-reaching positive impacts on the environment, human health, and resource conservation. Recycling these battery packs can help reduce toxicity and pollution. The materials contained in these battery packs are recovered and reused instead of being released into the environment. Recycling dead EV battery packs can also contribute towards reducing greenhouse gas emissions and climate change. Furthermore, recycling of dead EV battery packs can also lead to scarcity and cost savings. This is because it saves the scarce and expensive resources that are needed for the production of new EV battery packs and other applications and industries. Recycling dead EV battery packs also helps lower the demand for and price of these materials. This can ease supply shortages and geopolitical conflicts as well as the production costs and market prices of the new EV battery packs. Recycling dead EV battery packs is not just beneficial for the environment and cost-effective, but it also creates a lot of opportunities and value. Recycling these battery packs creates a new and growing industry that can generate jobs, income, and innovation. Moreover, recycling dead EV battery packs supports the circular economy and the life cycle of the EV battery packs. Finally, recycling these battery packs produces a lot of valuable and useful materials 
that can be used for the production of new EV battery packs or other products and devices, such as electronics, appliances, and jewelry. Reusing dead EV battery packs is another way of disposing of them. This method is innovative and can lead to creative solutions, but it is also the most uncertain and risky way. The process of reusing involves several steps and processes, starting from the collection and transportation of dead EV battery packs. These battery packs are collected from EV owners, dealers, or manufacturers, who either return them voluntarily or are required to do so by law or contract. However, the collection and transportation of dead EV battery packs can pose some risks and challenges, such as leakage, fire, or explosion, due to the instability and volatility of the cells, as well as theft, vandalism, or illegal dumping due to the lack of security and supervision. After collection, the dead EV battery packs are reproposed and refurbished in the reusing facility, which can be either manual or automated. In a manual system, the dead EV battery packs are taken apart by hand using tools and equipment, and the cells are tested and selected based on their capacity and performance. The cells are then cleaned and repaired to remove impurities and defects, and to restore the functionality and quality of the cells. The cells are then reconfigured and reassembled to create new and different battery packs, which can fit it and function for other applications and devices. In an automated system, the dead EV battery packs are fed into a machine, which uses sensors, algorithms, and robots to perform the same tasks and processes with more speed and accuracy. Finally, the dead EV battery packs are reconfigured and reassembled in the reusing facility, which can use different methods and technologies depending on the type and quality of the cells and the demand and feasibility of the new applications and devices. Some of the main methods and technologies are modular design, smart management, and hybrid integration. Modular design is a method that uses standardized and interchangeable cells, which can be easily and quickly connected and disconnected to create different types and sizes of battery packs that can suit and adapt to different applications and devices. Smart management is a method that uses intelligent and advanced systems that can monitor and control the cells and the battery packs to optimize their performance and efficiency, and extend their lifespan and usability. Hybrid integration is a method that uses different types and sources of energy, which can complement and supplement the cells and the battery packs to enhance their capacity and reliability and to reduce their dependency and vulnerability. Reusing dead EV battery packs has multiple positive impacts on the environment, human health, and value creation. It reduces toxicity and pollution by preserving and reusing the cells instead of releasing them into the environment. Additionally, it saves energy and emissions that would be required for the extraction and processing of new materials, as well as the decomposition and combustion of waste materials, thereby reducing greenhouse gas emissions and the impacts of climate change. Reusing dead EV battery packs also saves scarce and expensive resources, lowers the demand and price of these materials. Furthermore, it produces a lot of valuable and useful products and services that can be used for other applications and devices, such as energy storage, backup power, and grid services. As we have seen, dead EV battery packs have different options for their afterlife, recycling, reusing, or repurposing. Each option has its advantages and challenges, and there is no one-size-fits-all solution. The best option depends on various factors, such as the condition, chemistry, and design of the battery, the availability and demand of the market, the cost and benefit of the process, and the environmental and social impact of the outcome. Therefore, it is important to have a holistic and integrated approach that considers the entire life cycle of the battery, from production to disposal, and that involves all the stakeholders, such as the manufacturers, the owners, the recyclers, the reusers, the repurposes, and the regulators. By doing so, we can ensure that dead EV battery packs are not wasted but rather utilized to their full potential, and that they contribute to a circular economy and a sustainable future. And that's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed watching it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. We have more amazing videos coming up, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching and see you next time.